morning guys welcome to today's video last night I dropped and broke <laughs> our vlogging camera just a small vlogging camera yeah I did that trying to rush out to get to lessons on time and so today I'm using an old one Sam and Gabby have gone to take our truck in you guys know Sam likes to sp Sam likes to spiff up his truck and do all these fancy things to it. So he's taking it in to get some fancy work done. There goes Honey. Hi. Honey with her new feet. One. Well, go to your spot, little missy. <laughs> She's like, you're late. And the truth is, I'm exactly on time, Penny. I'm exactly when I'm supposed to be here. This is the time you get done taking care of every single day. One. Two, three. Our girls get fed all in a row now. Uh-oh, this camera's acting weird. Let me just check my settings. For some reason, it seems like when I move it, it blurs. That could be why I switched from using this camera. Who knows? But anyway, welcome to today. There's our three butts. Lots of poop and lots of pee in, in Honey's stall. I always check every day. <laughs> or I make Sophie check. Even though she's settling in really well, I always still want to like make sure because when foals get sick or have a problem, they can like accelerate so fast and it can become dangerous. So, honey didn't even want to leave the barn. Today I'm dressed super crazy. It is cold and kind of like uh and kind of a relaxing day for us. So I have these pants on. Well, not really. I have a lot to do. But I have these like pants that I bought a few weeks like in August, I think that are like so super squishy and I love them. I never get to wear them unless I'm going to bed. Yeah, someone said that they think Willow's a little jealous and it's probably... She very much is. Uh, she very much is. I know people say horses can't feel jealousy, but holy moly, she hates the mini. Gracie finally does have a friend, you guys. She loves Chino. They all like Chino now, but Gracie loves him. With Sabrina, that that bucket is Sabrina's. Mm -hmm. One thing I really love about being a family is that we all know what to do. We all have like our own jobs. We all just kind of, not only do we all have our own jobs, like each one of us does our own horse's stall and takes care of our own horse, but there are other things like making grain for the for the next feed and. Um, sweeping the hallway and cleaning brushes or if your sister's away like we all just chime in and do everything that needs to get done so our barn is nice and clean i love that i love being part of the family all right hit the lights let's go up and start school
Yeah. You just sit on that and swing. You sit on that and swing. So uh, we've been taking the mares in, the little ponies in, sooner than the big horses because obviously they have different dietary needs. It's been working really well bringing the horses in at different times. So hopefully uh, we can get their weight under control. Yeah, hello, babies. Yeah, we love you, Willow. We love you. Nothing that ever is going to happen will make her not love you as much. So we're going to bring Honey in and let her share a fence line with the, full, with the ponies again. We definitely want to go super slow. And I'm glad that we've been able to go slow because we were able to tell, like, Gracie is definitely the one to introduce to her first. Likely because she's at the bottom of the herd. And Willow is literally at the top right after Penny. So many people ask me stuff like, are you going to separate your ponies? Like put the, put the ponies in the mini together and keep the bigger horses apart. And there's so many things like ways that we can do things. And we just don't know yet what we're going to do. We're going to ultimately oh, though, ultimately we're going to do whatever's best for the horses and whatever works for us and works for them. So I don't know what we're doing. It would be great to have a separate place for the ponies and the mini. We don't have as much space at this farm as we hope to have in the future, so we might not do that. I also find advantages of having a mixed herd and having like the small ones in with the big ones. And I know a lot of people that have that, like the babies in with the bigger horses and the miniature horses in with the with uh, bigger horses and I think it can be done obviously but I just don't know what is going to work for us so we're just going to keep trying things and find what works. I try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would and before you, there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you, I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me So this is really shocking. Essentially, Gracie has decided in the back, dogs. Oh no, gosh. you stay. <laughs> we have I'm going to three dogs. It's so annoying with Dev going in the front because she literally, or on your lap, because she literally kills you. Yeah. Are these leashes you brought? Yeah. You're insane. Those uh -huh. are chihuahua leashes. So Daisy basically has killer paws you know those paws where they step on you and you're like oh it goes right down to your bone and you think you're dying those are the kind of paws she has lately daisy if you guys don't know who daisy is that's her there turn it off please she has taken to wanting to sleep with me yeah she wants to sleep with me so when sophie goes to bed she has been running in my room and hiding underneath my covers and she never ever used to do that ever and i like it though i like her cuddling up with me but the problem is, is that she's got She's got paws of steel. She rams them into your ribs and rams them into your face and 
before long you're like I don't sleep with her <laughs> she takes up the whole bed yeah like she's awkward to sleep with but she's so sweet and so loving but anyway we're taking our ducks for a quick walk Sam and Gabby are still gone but before we go you guys should know my battery died I couldn't show you guys what happened with Gracie Gracie totally acted like honey was her fool she totally acted I knew one of our horses would do that I thought it would be willow it's not probably not gonna be willow but she literally was guiding her and telling her what to do like gently getting her in trouble when she didn't listen she was like listen to me listen to me just like a mom like and that's what that's what honey needs like that's why she needs to be with the other horses she needs like them to teach her like what she's allowed to do and what she's not allowed to do teach her to listen and teach her all the stuff but i actually am shook at how gracie just took her over like a mom were you so surprised yeah i facetimed my friend and i'm like look at what's happening here and she's like oh she's a little she's a little uh over she's <laughs> she's a little she's doing it she's a little overdoing it <laughs> She literally took that bowl and said, okay, you're mine, which is weird because we've been watching for the almost the last two weeks to see like how it's gonna go, like just seeing how the horses interact with her from being able to see her from their field. And Chino's terrified of her. And Penny looks like she's really super maternal towards her. And Gracie's always in the back, obviously, because she's lower in the herd, but Gracie has never shown any interest in that bowl. And in, She's never ever been interested, never shown any interest in her. And now all of a sudden she like walked into that arena and was like, you're mine, you're my baby, I love you, let's go. And it was just insane. It was so insane, but so beautiful too. Sophie's afraid that Ma Daisy's gonna jump into the water on the bridge up there. So I had to promise, I had to promise that I would jump in after her if she jumps from the bridge into the water. You will have to, actually she hates water. So. Molly looked like she was about to jump. Molly remembers. Oh, <laughs> she hates water, so this is gonna be interesting. Yeah, these two are like, no. And Molly's like, okay. <laughs> Find me a stick. Ew. Molly. If you're wondering if Gabby will absolutely kill us that we took her dog for a walk and let her swim, yep, that's probably accurate. Oh, Look, she found so one. Hello. Oh, she brought a rock. Look. Oh, <laughs> that's not a good stick. Find me a stick. Daisy's like, I like it here too. I'm surprised if he's touching the water. Oh my gosh, Daisy's in the water. Take your, get your camera and take pictures. Daisy stands on a rock. I love this. I love fall. Like in the summer, you think you'd go like for more walks in the summer, but it gets so hot here that we don't really do a lot of that. We spend a lot of time with the horses and doing horse shows and riding and stuff, but we don't go out and do like a lot of trails and stuff, like a lot of stuff with the dogs in the water and stuff. But once the weather cools down just a tiny bit, we love taking the dogs for a walk. Mm -hmm. 
Don't you know that you're beautiful?